Welcome to Boo Boo, the kids' channel. Please subscribe to our channel for more moral stories. This story is about the ant and the grasshopper. Once upon a time, in a sunny meadow, lived two friends, ant and grasshopper. Ant was diligent and hardworking, while grasshopper loved to sing and play all day. As summer approached, Ant began to gather food for the upcoming winter. He carried tiny crumbs and seeds to his home, working tirelessly day after day. Meanwhile, Grasshopper laughed at Ant's efforts. He sang songs and played in the sun, thinking there was plenty of time. When winter finally arrived, the meadow turned cold and food became scarce. Ant was warm and well-fed in his cozy home. Grasshopper, however, shivered in the cold and went hungry. One day, Grasshopper visited Ant and asked for food. Ant shared the supplies but reminded Grasshopper about the importance of preparing for the future. Grasshopper learned his lesson and promised to work hard next summer. The moral of the story. Work hard today for a better tomorrow. Greedy dog and the bone. The more greedy, the less happy. This story teaches us to be happy with what we have, or we might end up with nothing. Once upon a time, in a cozy little town, there lived a greedy dog named Max. Max was always hungry and wanted more than he had. One sunny day, he found a delicious-looking bone in the park. Max picked up the bone in his mouth and ran to a quiet spot. He was so happy. But as he looked into a pond, he saw another dog with a bigger bone. Greedily, Max wanted that bone too. To get the bigger bone, Max barked at his own reflection in the water. The bone fell from his mouth into the pond. Max tried to grab it, but it sank to the bottom, lost forever. Moral. Count your blessings, not your wants. We should be content and grateful for what we have instead of always wanting more. Dog's desire for more made him to lose the very thing he had been enjoying. The Magical Adventurous Ride Once upon a time, in a magical zoo, the animals decided to go on a grand adventure. They boarded a colorful train, excited to explore the world outside their enclosures. As the train chugged along, they passed lush forests, sparkling rivers, and towering mountains. Their adventure took an unexpected turn when they spotted a rainbow in the sky. To everyone's amazement, the train transformed into a flying machine. They soared through the clouds, and the animals felt like they were in a dream. Each animal shared stories and laughter making new friends from all over. It was a train adventure they would never forget, filled with the magic of the flying train and the joy of friendship. Eventually, they returned to their zoo with hearts full of wonderful memories and a newfound appreciation for their home. An Elephant's Tale A Short Moral Story through this story, we learn the importance of considering the well-being of others. Once there lived a huge elephant in the jungle. Every day, he would walk heavily with his big foot, crushing the ant hills. So the ants decided to teach the elephant a lesson. One day, as the elephant was eating leaves, a few ants started biting him. The elephant trumpeted loudly in pain. We are sorry, but we wanted you to feel our pain, said the ants. 
Every day you stomp through our home, ruining the hills we work hard to build. Though we are small, our home matters too. I'm very sorry. I never realized how my heavy steps affect you, said the elephant sincerely. From now on, I will be more careful where I walk. The ants were pleased that the elephant had learned his lesson. Moral of the story. Just as the elephant learned to watch his step around smaller creatures, we too must be mindful of how our actions impact others. The Little Head. This story teaches us how strong communities and support systems are developed when we people stick together and help others in need. Once upon a time, a little hen was wandering in search of new friends. Along the way, a crow approached the hen, seeking hen's friendship. The hen replied, No, you're not beautiful, so we can't be friends. And the crow sadly moved away. Further along the path, the hen encountered a charming fox, thinking that the fox would make a more suitable friend due to its handsome appearance. The hen was unaware of the impending danger. When the fox saw the hen, it wanted to catch it for a meal, so it started chasing the hen. The scared hen screamed and tried to run away. On seeing this, the crow called on its fellow crows for help, and together they rescued the hen, driving the fox away. Grateful for the crow's help, the hen realized the importance of kindness and unity, and they became good friends. Moral of the story, don't judge by appearances. Kindness and unity create lasting friendships. The Lion and the Rabbit a story of intelligence. This story teaches us that intelligence and clever thinking can be more powerful than physical strength. Once in a big forest, many animals lived happily together. But trouble came when a mean lion arrived, wanting to eat everyone in the forest. This lion was nasty and powerful hunting and killing other animals even when he wasn't hungry. The animals were in danger and their numbers started to shrink. Worried, the animals proposed a deal with the lion. They would send him one animal daily if he stopped hunting. One day, it was the turn of a tiny, smart rabbit. Instead of going early, he waited until the afternoon. Approaching slowly, the rabbit devised a plan to outsmart the lion. When he reached the den at sunset, the lion, hungry and furious, demanded an explanation. The rabbit, trembling, pleaded, Please forgive me, my lord. I started at the right time with three of my companions. But a lion more powerful than you stopped us in the way and ate three of them. I managed to flee and come to your service. Surprised and angered, the lion demanded to be taken to the powerful lion in the well. The rabbit led him to a deep well, pointed inside and said, There he is, your majesty. Looking in, the lion saw his reflection and, enraged, roared. Believing it was the rival lion, he jumped into the well, trapping himself. The clever rabbit escaped, leaving the silly lion helpless. The other animals were finally free from the bad lion's threat, thanks to the quick-thinking rabbit. Moral of the story. Clever thinking is powerful. It can outsmart even the strongest. The hare and the tortoise, a story of determination. A version of the tale by Boo Boo the Kids Channel. Please subscribe to our channel for more moral stories. This story shows that it's not always the fastest or the strongest who win the race. Determination, perseverance, and the ability to keep going 
even when the odds are against you, can lead to remarkable achievements. In a lively forest, there were a group of animals lived happily. There was a hare named Harry, known throughout the woods for his incredible speed. Timmy was a little tortoise, who wasn't the fastest or the strongest animal in the forest, but he had a heart full of determination. Harry often teased Timmy, belittling him for his slowness. Tired of the taunts, Timmy challenged Harry to a race. Excitement spread like wildfire through the forest as all the animals gathered to watch. Three, two, one, go. The race was on and Harry dashed ahead, his arrogance evident. The forest animals cheered for his speed, but they also rooted for Timmy. Mid-race, Harry, overconfident, decided to take a short nap, believing he had all the time in the world. Meanwhile, Timmy kept moving steadily. The spectators watched with bated breath as Timmy closed the gap. Harry awoke to see Timmy near the finish line. With a final burst of determination, Timmy crossed first. The forest echoed with cheers. Moral of the story, slow and steady wins the race. The tortoise won because he was determined and did not stop for a second. The hare lost because he was overconfident and assumed his victory was guaranteed. The Thankful Turkey Please subscribe to Boo Boo the Kids channel for more moral stories. This story teaches us that expressing gratitude through small acts of kindness can create positivity and goodwill. It was the Thanksgiving day in the town. The turkey had a list of all the houses he needed to visit. Grasping his basket of goodies, he set off to Teddy Bear's house. Upon arriving, Turkey expresses gratitude, saying, Hi Teddy, I wanted to let you know that I am thankful for all the things you've done for me. I would like to give you a jar of sweet homemade honey sauce. Teddy Bear appreciates the kindness, responding, That's really nice of you. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving day. Turkey continued down the road, meeting Squirrel, offering roasted pumpkin seeds and rabbit with a basket of carrots, expressing gratitude. Turkey's thoughtful gestures inspired everyone and they decided to follow his way. The forest dwellers exchanged cranberry jams and other dishes as tokens of gratitude, making Thanksgiving a joyous celebration of kindness and appreciation. Moral of the story, expressing gratitude through small acts of kindness can inspire a chain of appreciation, creating a joyful and harmonious community. Crocodile, crocodile, are you my friend? This story teaches us to beware of false friends who use deception and trickery to take advantage of the unsuspecting and good-natured. Deep in the jungle, there lived a group of happy monkeys who spent their days swinging through the trees and foraging for tasty fruits and nuts. One day, the monkeys came across a river where some crocodiles lived. The crocodiles often spied on the monkeys playing in the forest. They planned to trick those monkeys to come into the river and make a tasty meal out of them. They played fun games near the bank, waiting to trap the monkeys. Hello, monkeys. Come join us in the river for some fun games, said the crocodile. The crocodiles seemed friendly at first, 
inviting the monkeys to come play. Monkeys were excited to make new friends, and one of them jumped into the river. But as soon as the monkey got close, the crocodiles revealed their true nature. Ha ha! Fools! Now we've got you! They opened their giant jaws to snap at the helpless monkeys. The monkey manged to get away and never forgot this scary lesson. Now the monkeys understood that it was a trap. Moral. Get to know new people slowly before trusting them fully. Like the monkeys, we sometimes encounter strangers who pretend to be nice at first, but may have hidden motives. True friends earn trust gradually through good actions over time. Beware of false overtures, but once proven trustworthy, make true friends and have fun. Thank Three Pigs and the Wolf This story teaches us the value of thoughtful planning and hard work in facing life's challenges. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs, Porky, Snouty, and Bricky. Each pig decided to build a house, but their choices reflected their personalities. Porky, the first little pig, was a bit lazy. Wanting to finish his house quickly, he chose to build it from straw. Snouty, the second pig, wanted something easy too, so he picked sticks for his house. The third pig, Bricky, was wise and hard-working. He knew the importance of a strong home, so he diligently built his house with bricks. As the three little pigs were happily singing and dancing about their completed houses, a big bad wolf appeared. The big bad wolf, wanting to catch the pigs, went to Porky's house first. He huffed and puffed, blowing down the straw house. Terrified, Porky ran to Snouty's house, and it was also blown down by the wolf. Now, with both their houses gone, Porky and Snouty hurried to Bricky's house made of sturdy bricks. At Bricky's brick house, the wolf snarled, Little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair of our chinny-chin-chins, declared the three pigs. The wolf huffed and puffed, but couldn't blow down the strong brick house. Frustrated, the wolf tried a different approach. He climbed down the chimney, thinking he could catch the pigs inside. However, clever Bricky had a surprise, a pot of boiling water. With a yelp, the wolf jumped out and fled into the woods, never to return. The three little pigs learned a valuable lesson that day. Hard work and resilience pay off. They happily lived in their sturdy brick house, singing proudly about their victory over the big bad wolf. Moral of the story. The tale of the three little pigs imparts the wisdom that diligence and resilience lay the foundation for lasting success. Little Ladybug and Friends This story teaches us that kindness and bravery can bring friends together and help solve problems in our diverse world. In a cheerful meadow, a ladybug named Lucy yearned for new friends. She approached a busy bee and asked, Will you be my friend, Mr. Bee? The bee thought for a moment and said, I'm always buzzing around, and you can't fly as fast as I do. I can't be your friend. Undeterred, Lucy met a friendly squirrel. Could we be friends? She inquired with a hopeful smile. The squirrel considered. You have wings, and I can't fly. I can't be your friend. Lucy then met a bird and asked, Could we be friends? The bird kindly said, I'm sorry, but I can't be your friend because you can't fly as high as I do. Even the nimble rabbit had the same response. You're too small. 
he remarked. The next day, a sly fox threatened the meadow's peace. Lucy, determined to protect her newfound friends, faced the fox. Please, sir, leave my friends alone, she implored. But the fox scoffed at her, so Lucy decided to take action. She fluttered toward the fox and buzzed into the fox's ears, creating quite a ruckus. The fox, annoyed and in pain, fled from the meadow in a hurry. Returning to her friends, they cheered, You're just the right size to be our friend. In that meadow, friendships flourished, showing that true friends come in all forms and sizes. Moral, friendship is about who you are, not how you appear or what you can do. Friendship is not defined by differences in size or abilities, but by kindness, bravery, and willingness to help in times of need. The Elves and the Shoemaker Please subscribe to Boo Boo, the kids channel, for more short stories. This story teaches us that being kind and grateful creates a magical cycle of goodness. When you show thanks and do something nice for others, it makes everyone happy, and good things come back to you too. Once upon a time, a poor shoemaker, through no fault of his own, had only enough leather for one pair of shoes. In the evening, he cut out shoe pieces, went to bed feeling content, and entrusted himself to God's care. To his surprise, the next morning, he discovered two perfectly crafted shoes on his table. Amazed, he sold them at a good price, bought leather for two more pairs, and the mysterious pattern continued. Each night, the shoes multiplied, bringing prosperity to the once poor shoemaker. One night, nearing Christmas, the shoemaker and his wife decided to discover who was helping them. They hid and witnessed two tiny men magically crafting the shoes. Grateful, the couple decided to repay the little men's kindness by making them tiny clothes. The next night, they laid out the clothes. The little men Finding no leather, happily dressed in the tiny attire, danced joyfully and left happily. Although the little men never returned, the shoemaker's life remained blessed and prosperity continued. Moral of the story, kindness and hard work make magic in the heart, bringing prosperity from the start. Magic and hard work with a sprinkle of goodwill, brought happiness and success to the shoemaker. So when we're kind and work hard, magical things can happen. Waiting for Wings, a caterpillar's tale. This story teaches us that with patience and self-belief, dreams can blossom into reality. Once upon a time in a colorful garden, there was a tiny caterpillar named Carly. She dreamt of fluttering through the sky like the butterflies she admired. Carly knew she had to wait. Every day, Carly saw butterflies dancing in the air and felt a bit sad that she couldn't join them yet. As the days turned into weeks, Carly felt changes within herself. She formed a cozy cocoon around her, patiently waiting for what would come next. It seemed like forever, but Carly stayed hopeful. One beautiful day, Carly emerged from her cocoon with colorful wings. She was no longer a crawling caterpillar, but a stunning butterfly. She soared into the sky, feeling the joy she had waited for. Moral, good things come to those who wait. Patience and perseverance can turn dreams into beautiful realities. 
The Lion and the Mouse, The Magic of Kindness. The story shows how unexpected friendships can blossom when we show kindness to others and make the world a better place. Once upon a time, in a lush jungle, there lived a fearsome lion named Leo. Leo was known as the king of the jungle for his power and strength. One day, a tiny mouse named Mikey accidentally scurried over Leo's paw, waking him up. Leo could have easily crushed Mikey, but he decided to be kind. Mikey was surprised by Leo's kindness and explained it was an accident. They became unlikely friends and started helping others as well. One day, Leo found himself trapped in a hunter's net. Mikey, remembering Leo's kindness, quickly nibbled through the ropes, setting Leo free. Leo thanked Mikey for saving him and became friends for life. Moral. Kindness is a magical power we all possess. When we use it, we create happiness and lessen distress. It's essential to treat everyone with kindness and respect, no matter how big or small they may be. When you are kind to others, they are more likely to be kind to you when you need it most. Please subscribe to Boo Boo the Kids channel for more moral stories.